Welcome to Home Kit Life. I'm Josh. I'm Braden. This week we're going to talk about Airversa and Luxone. I think that's how you say that. Sure. <laughs> These uh, European companies are tripping me up. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. So first up, we have the Airversa Air Purifier, which will be the world's first thread-enabled air purifier. Found this kind of interesting. Uh, so it uses an H13 HEPA filter, uh, which does dual air filtration. And uh, it has a five speed fan inside of it. And uh, it looks like it's actually for quite large rooms, uh, designed to work in medium to large rooms. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of excited for this to see someone coming from kind of outside the smart home ecosystem that we have now, right? Like Mm -hmm. it's not Maros, it's not, uh, or Maris, it's not, uh, Vocalink. Yeah. This is someone that I think focuses on making air purifiers. And, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that the, uh, filters or maybe their standard filters that you can buy anywhere, that's going to be kind of exciting, but to have thread out of the gate for $199. Yeah. Super exciting to me. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. This is, this is, I'm, I'm sure this is going to bump to the the top of everyone's like must buy list. If you don't already have an air purifier, we actually don't have any, uh, we were thinking about picking one up, um, but we, we haven't done it yet. So I'm excited for this. Yeah. It seems absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right. Loxone, uh, they have added official HomeKit support. So this is a company that is coming from Europe. Uh, it is actually an Austrian smart home solutions company. Um, and they have a wide lineup covering everything from lighting, audio, and window coverings uh, to alarm systems and more. So basically everything that's getting ported over to HomeKit is like uh, their lights and stuff. Uh, keypads, um, presence sensors. Uh, there are some outdoor models of things, um, ultrasonic sensors, uh, even water pressure sensors. Um, some things that aren't coming over yet are uh, there are intercom doorbells, some smoke sensors, uh, or gate controls. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I guess. I guess. HomeKit would have like door control. Maybe a gate control would work kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah. It seems interesting. Like smoke sensors, like that, that's already there in HomeKit. So mm-hmm. it must just be certification. certification process or something. Um, I don't, their stuff looks pricey. It's like 136 euros for an IP 68 rated LED light strip. Mm-hmm. Um, and then they have another one. <laughs> It's like 266 yeah. euros. Like, oof, that's, yeah, that's, that's pretty pricey, but kind of cool to see the support coming. I kind of wonder like what, what made them choose to go through HomeKit directly versus like just gear up and be ready for matter, you know? Right. And I think that's an interesting choice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess that's all we got this week. Uh, we used to be called HomeKit 5, and I think we might get this one done in just about five, five minutes. minutes. Yeah. For the first time, maybe ever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Short news week. Uh, as always, we appreciate your support. And uh, thank you so much for tuning in. If you're watching on YouTube, hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and uh, click that bell if you want to be notified of future videos. Remember, we're on a new channel now, so you can find that on our Twitter uh, if you go to twitter.com slash our Apple home, you can find us there and, uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.